great tip. I, I think it is, everyone wants uh, stability and security in their decisions. And I think that has delayed a lot of action in this space for, for years, uh, especially as policies are constantly changing, people are waiting for prices to come down. But I, I think it's, it's, it's been shown time and time again, the sooner the yeah. better. And <laughs> I think the, I mean, the, the price conversation is an understandable one. There's, it was only, you know, three, four years ago, prices for PPAs in Europe um, were a lot lower than what we're seeing. But just looking at the markets at the moment, we still have a lot of political uncertainty, um, not just with Russia and Ukraine, which obviously had the spike last year, but some wider uncertainties that will, that may impact influence the market in a way that keeps prices high. Um, Long-term prices are showing that they will continue to be at a high level for the remainder of the decade. And I understand that that is obviously a, a pill to swallow and we all want to be much more optimistic that they will come down at a faster rate. Um, and there's a lot of challenges there in the PPA space of- Should Except for Katie. Katie, I, I, Katie hates yeah. to be an optimist. <laughs> Um, but then there's also the challenges developers are facing of because inflation is so high, it's much more expensive to build these projects. So they need to price it in a way where they essentially break even. Um, so as much as we would want to say, yeah, maybe prices will come down next year, it's not a high likelihood that that is what's going to happen. And it's going back to what I was saying earlier. If you don't act now, it could be that in three, four years time, you go, OK, prices aren't coming down. We appreciate that now then all these projects are now reserved because there are so many other factors at play. Yeah, that's great that's points. Well. I mean, we had the COVID pandemic, the, the yeah. economic shutdowns, the Russia-Ukraine uh, invasion. And then, I mean, you've got potentially a situation with China and Taiwan, which would be mm. extremely, extremely disruptive to this sector, especially. I mean, yeah. it's, so it's, it's like... I feel like we're at a kind of like, I know we're not at the easiest time in the history of the world, mm -hmm. but at the same time, while inflation is sort of getting under control and everything sort of seems to be going back to normal, it seems like, you know, you want to jump on it now and not not wait for another crisis to emerge, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to end on a, a, a sad note, but oh, yeah, no, that's so definitely so. the realistic view of it. <laughs> I think it's, it's that really important point, Zach, that if you're coming into this because you want a cheap price, you're coming in for it for the wrong reasons, right? There are, there are multiple different factors outside of just price that should be the reasons that you are looking at a PPA, whether that's, you know, hedging against market volatility, whether that's your sustainability requirements, whether that's your additionality, whatever it is, it, you know, there has to be multiple boxes that you need to tick in order to make this successful for your business. And if it's just about price, I hate to say it, but this is going to be a really difficult one for you to do, right? Because it, it's not super cheap right now there is a premium to this and actually you know megan said it as supply and as demand goes up and supply can't keep up we're only going to see more of a premium so there is a case of you know kind of getting now before those prices go wherever they could potentially go in the future and who yeah. knows what kind of volatility we could then see in markets too so yeah i think you guys have explained that quite well that you know we're as we get closer to 2030 it's going to be a rush. You can imagine like sort of approaching the rush to the, to purchase more renewables yeah. and how that could, could not be, you don't want to be in that caught up in that rush. You don't want to be in the stampede. Right. 